Ladies and gentlemen, again welcome to the channel and uh, I want us to talk about uh, dangerous drinks or the drinks that will mess up your teeth. Now, I also want you to understand that these drinks will not mess up your teeth by one exposure or two. So, the level of exposure will expose you to uh, either damage or uh, development of that damage. So, you'd rather avoid it completely. Now, these are a, a diagram of, uh, a schematic diagram of a teeth, of a tooth. Eh? Uh, and now, these drinks uh, are common culprits for most of us. So I want you to understand on the pH scale, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, coffee, tea, beer, and uh, soda. All of them are acidic drinks. Now, take an example of lemon juice. Lemon juice has the same pH as the content of the stomach. Hydrochloric acid in the stomach has a pH of 2 to 3. That is highly acidic and it can even uh, uh, melt a blade. That's the same pH with lemon juice. Now when you dilute lemon juice with water, you rise this pH from highly acidic towards neutral. So it goes up to 5.5. SCV from the same pH to 4.5. Now people who use SCV to, for weight loss purposes, SCV will not help you to lose weight. This is apple cider vinegar. Now, we will talk about SCV some other time or in another video. Coffee, when you dilute it with water, it goes to the pH goes to 5 to 6. Tea, 5. Beer. Now, beer, apart from it being highly acidic, it's also highly estrogenic. So, for men, it messes your reproduction. Soda, which is the major culprit of many of us, and because of the sugar that is in the soda has a pH of 2.4 to 3 that is still highly acidic now soda is a bad combination because it's highly acidic and again it has sugar so now why am I mentioning these pH scales because enamel is the strongest uh, compound in our bodies and that's why it makes the surface of the of your tooth now why does it make the surface of, your, of the tooth because it is the one that is supposed to grind food substances under high pressure. Okay? Now, what does sugar or acidic things do to your tooth? Now, these acids, since they are highly acidic, all these substances, uh, every time you expose yourself to these things, these acids, they leach out the enamel. Now, also remember, the tooth has calcium. Now, calcium can react with all these acidic compounds in this, uh, in this, in this, in this uh, drinks, and that will also make your tooth weak. Now, uh, one thing I want you to understand: I put saliva here <coughs> with a pH of six point two to seven point six. Now, saliva has only one role here. The role is to buffer this acidic pH of all those drinks so that it protects your tooth. Now saliva has different components. Saliva has bicarbonates, saliva has water, saliva has uh, microorganisms, and all these are aimed to buffer the pH of the mouth so that the tooth has an environment that it functions properly. Now once you alter this pH, because once you take these drinks openly, that means you will be altering the pH of the mouth and you will also overwhelm the saliva. Now, what happens if you overwhelm the saliva? Bacteria start to grow now. Remember, the mouth is acidic. So now what follows? This acidic environment, once you start consuming those carbohydrates and they get into these cavities of the teeth and the gums, what happens? Fermentation starts to happen because these bacteria that are developing because of saliva being overwhelmed, and remember saliva is the one that is supposed to fight those bacteria 
they start causing fermentation. Now when they start causing this fermentation, you start getting this foul smell. And this fermentation again messes the, the, the environment again even more because fermentation brings acidic media. Okay? So once this becomes more acidic, you even bleach the enamel more and now you expose your tooth to uh, cavities or caries. Now, uh, some of these drinks, like soda and other carbonated drinks, have an acid called phosphoric acid. Now this phosphoric acid has the major role of leaching, specifically the calcium. Okay? Now, so you can imagine the combination of soda or the carbonated drinks and the enamel. So once you take this soda and these energy drinks, you expose this tooth all the time to phosphoric acid, so you leach calcium. You again expose your teeth to sugar, so you create uh, fermentation. So you, there's more acid and your tooth starts to decay. Now, do not give these drinks to your babies because you will mess your baby's tooth, okay? And uh, that is expensive to manage. And also, uh, high content of sugar, specifically in people who have diabetes, they are the ones who will uh, experience these periodontal diseases. Periodontal diseases is one for the gums. So, uh, you'll they will experience these dental cavities and uh, periodontal diseases. Why? Because now you have high blood sugar already in the system. So what will happen? Uh, you you will start developing tooth decay from within. So it comes from within to without. So by the time it comes to show outside, already the inside is already messed up. So you don't have an option. You go for an extraction. And most of us, we know our dental formula is our pride. So be cautious. Now. Again, to summarize this, sugar inhibits absorption of vitamin C. Now, if you take sugar and you take it together with vitamin C, the body is not stupid. The body will prefer the nutrient that gives it a reward. Remember, sugar gives you dopamine uh, reward, so you feel good after taking sugar. Vitamin C does not. So, uh, once you take sugar and vitamin C, the body prefers, vita prefers uh, sugar over vitamin C and it absorbs sugar, so it hinders absorption of vitamin C. And, uh, you know, vitamin C is the one that helps you prevent scarring. Okay? So vitamin C plays a major role in prevention of tooth decay. So now you have an idea. So we'll see you again in the next video.